Hi guys, welcome back to Thailand. We're Lee and Toon on the farm and today is another update day. As promised, we've got a six month update of the borehole. So, let's do it. What I'll be doing fellas is popping this video in with the initial borehole vlog that I did and I'm going to couple it with the solar power update and the install video for that. I'm going to put it in a playlist. Or, or it'll be something along the lines of living off grid in, in Thailand. Okay, so six months on. Have we still got a borehole that works? Absolutely. No dramas at all. Uh, the only issue we had, which I think we covered in the first one, was um, the smirt pump. So the, the long skinny pump that they insert into your borehole. That sounds a bit for now, for now, I know, but um, some little stones got in there and it got jammed. The guys came out after two days and um, put a, like a, a finer mesh over the top of it, put it back down there, and then since then, not a problem at all. It's never run dry. We run it every single day of the week, ranging from half an hour to, I don't know, three or four hours, depending on what we're, we're filling up. Um, as far as water quality goes, it's nice and clear, but uh, this last week it's gone a little bit, how should we say, cloudy. Uh, Toon calls it coconut milk. It's got like a, a white cloud appearance to it. Now, when we were back in the village on Mains Water, in the dry season there, we used to get the same thing. So I don't know what causes it. Um, we don't drink it anyway. So uh, it's not an issue to us. But uh, yeah, a total, total success. Um, would not be without it now. It's just so handy. Uh, we'd be totally lost if we didn't have this setup. So running from the borehole in the distance there, one pipe comes all the way to the house here with a little valve there. At present it's obviously closed. So if we were to flick on the uh, the smirt uh, we've got teed off another pipe going to that's the turkey trying to get out uh, to a tap over there and we've hooked a hose up to the duck pond on the yonder so um, yeah we use that also for watering all the trees okay if we open this valve down here it feeds our water storage tank. All right, Bambi. Okay, that takes, I don't know, from empty about two hours to fill, I suppose, two, three hours. From the water tank, goes through into the kitchen, out to the side. Then we've got a water pump, it's a Bishy water pump. So any time we flick on the mains tap, that pump kicks into action. Simple as peas. Now this pump and the tank we nabbed from our old house in the village. So we didn't have to go out and purchase those. No issues with either. We don't drink the water out of the borehole. Um, we're advised we need to have a, a, a quite beefy filtration system if we're going to do that. So we just have these for drinking water, uh, 10 bar each. But we don't, we don't always go and exchange these. We just go and top them up at our village house or Toon's mum's house off the mains there. It's what we used to do in the village house. We used to just drink mains water and put it through a Britax filter. No problem at all. Never had a dicky stomach from, from dodgy water. In those plastic tanks we fill this up so those three tanks fill our water tank up here now we drink this uh, and cook with it uh, have our cups of tea with it uh, again no dramas at all some people might be shocked you know oh my god you don't filter your water but uh, bear in mind that Toon as a kid used to drink water out of the rice paddy fields and if times were really hard then uh, her and her family would be drinking water out of the uh, hoof marks that were left in the soft soil during the rains 
uh, left by the water buffalo. So she's got a good immune system. I, on the other hand, have always been fortunate enough to be able to drink clean water. But uh, I suppose <clears throat> up till about six or seven years old, I used to go and find people's old chewing gum and have that. So uh, my immune system is pretty much nails, guys. Uh, what, on a slight different note, what it did teach me, eating other people's chewing gum, is people throw it away far too readily. There's still lots of good chewing to go in there. So just uh, if that's your thing, you know, you, you know the score. Lots of uh, free chewing available out there. Um, right then. So just to really elaborate on how we use the, the borehole, apart from um, filling up our storage tank, which again we use for washing, showering, we do use it for washing our teeth, brushing our teeth, not a problem. So we've got two little duck ponds, um, about 55, 60 fruit trees around here. Um, the water tanks for the chickens, and the turkeys and it and it does it all I think mean, I think it's brilliant um, whether I would have one if we were still in the village is debatable put it this way if we had the spare cash I'd definitely have one it would be a no-brainer and the main reason being the water mains in the the village in the dry season half the time it's off so you can't even have a shower what what we ended up doing was having water tanks everywhere so although you've got mains water just in case well just for when it runs out or it's not on um, you had to have um, surplus tanks everywhere failing that you had to have a big a big water storage tank with a pump so we had that as well so a lot more reliable than mains water that's for sure but water quality of course isn't the same but for 10 bar for those big barrels you can't you can't moan at that The previous borehole vlog, um, I wouldn't say it divided opinion the same as the solar, but you know some people concerned about your water quality and ingress into your body and that. Whereas me and Toon have never ever been so healthy in our lives. So uh, as far as showering in it and uh, doing our teeth, not an issue to us. You've got to remember most people out here drink the water off the roofs. So, uh, yeah, they let the rains wash the roof first, but there's still bird shit and mosquito larvae in everywhere and all that sort of thing. But um, I am of the firm opinion that we're too sanitised from an early age these days. And uh, that's why people can't fight off infections and they're constantly bloody ill and allergies are on the up. I know a lot of that can be put down to chemical use and maybe GM stuff, but yeah, fit as fiddles we are, we're like bloody Benjamin Buttons of Thailand, me and Tim, we're, we're actually getting older but younger, if you know what I mean, okay, I might, it's just got me thinking, I might do a vlog with my new secret Benjamin Button juice, so, well I don't call it Benjamin Button juice, but Benjamin Juice, so it's BJ for short. So I might do a BJ video for you guys. All right, that's it then. Thanks as always for watching. I hope that's um, a help. If you're in the market or considering borehole as an option, um, if you've got the funds, don't think twice about it. Just go for it. Um, I can't remember how much it was off the top of my head. Not a great deal. Just look right at the end of the video. There'll be some end screen. Um, options to click on and that one of those will be the playlist with the off-grid living one of which will be the borehole installation so uh, that will give you a bit more on uh, what to expect if you're, you're considering the same sort of thing alright I'm bloody blaring guys I'm thinking uh, BJ juice now alright bye bye bye